Hi everyone, it's Sabina from Phone Bunch and welcome to our full review of the Le Echo Le 1S. Now this phone comes in at just rupees 11,000. For that, you're getting premium metal build, Gorilla Glass protection, MediaTek's octa-core processor, 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of onboard storage and a gorgeous 5.5 inch 1080p display. Apart from that, solid construction throughout. If we come to the build of the device, you will see the volume rocker and power button on the right. Both are sturdy, offer great feedback. The metallic frame is chamfered which makes the phone far easier to grip and hold. At the top, you will find the antenna bands, audio jack as well as an infrared blaster, a rarity in this price segment. Now this is a dual SIM 4G LT cable device. Sadly, storage cannot be expanded here. You have a 3000 mAh battery underneath that unibody shell and you can see that USB Type-C port and speaker there too. Coming to the back, there is a 13 megapixel camera, LED flash and secondary noise cancellation mic and that brilliant fingerprint sensor which works more than 85% of the time. Now inside those symmetric circles, you will find the 5 megapixel front camera, proximity and light sensors as well. There's a notification LED there too. The capacitor buttons below the display do light up, although you might not be able to see it in this video. They are quite bright, especially if you are in dark environments. Coming to the display now, you have a 5.5 inch 1080p IPS display with Gorilla Glass protection. You can see that the viewing angles are quite wide. Now, color reproduction is actually quite good on this display. Touch response is excellent, but yes, the contrast levels are a bit on the higher side. The display still looks quite decent, it is viewable in direct sunlight. Now if we come to network and call quality, we didn't have any major issues there. Call quality was quite decent, both parties were able to hear clearly, you have call recording built in as well, dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything actually worked quite well. Now we all love to take photos with our smartphones. And this is where the Love NS actually lacks a little bit. The rear camera can record 4K videos but we weren't able to play those or upload those on YouTube. Those are playable on the device however. The front facing camera again is just about decent. In low light the camera doesn't perform that well. However, outdoors with bright sunlight or ample amount of light, you can get decent shots even though there is not much detail in the images themselves. We pitted the Love NS against the K4 Note and the K4 Note did come out on top. And I would still say that the Moto G3 has by far better cameras than both of these devices. Now we do have a separate camera review where we compare this with the K4 Note and you can have a look at that as well for more detail on the camera department. From camera, let's jump into audio quality. Now the speakerphone here is quite loud, audio through the headset jack is very crisp as well. Now even though there's a single speaker here, it is plenty loud and very clear. No distortion. FM radio however is not supported, but video playback here was very smooth and it is expected with MediaTek's flagship processor in this device. And even in general, the Le One S actually performs quite well. We didn't notice any lag throughout the user interface. It's actually quite polished. For a new brand coming out with a very polished interface, it's very rare. It's well thought of. Yes, the control center reminds me of iOS and it does take a little bit of getting used to. But it is customizable to your own liking. That's a major plus point. There are themes in build too. But this phone is still running on Android 5.0 Lollipop, which is quite outdated by today's standards, especially when we are already on Android Marshmallow. Another thing is storage is not expandable here, but Lyco has been very generous. 32 gigs of onboard storage, out of which you will get about 24 odd gigs. 3 gigs of RAM, which is again plenty for multitasking. And before I forget to mention, there's an infrared blaster here too, although I don't find much use for that, but it does work fine. What I miss here is accessing the settings directly from the notification shade. Apart from that, EUI is a very fluid software experience. And again, it's not just EUI, performance in general is very smooth here. Web browsing was great, 
The touchscreen response was very fast and we didn't have any issues playing high-end games on this device as well. We played games continuously for more than 20 odd minutes and the phone didn't heat up that much. It is a metal smartphone so it is going to feel a bit warmer than its plastic counterparts. Which brings us to another important point, battery life. We were able to get more than 3.5 to about 4 hours of screen on time which typically means one full day of usage in most cases. Moreover, you have super fast charging built in here as well over the USB type C port. So within about 30 to 40 minutes of charge, you'll get almost half or more than half days worth of usage on the device. And coming to that USB type C port, again I feel that it is a bit of a hassle. You have to carry that particular cable with you everywhere. And before we finish, there are some neat additions in EUI, like it recognizes in which hand the phone is being held. So some of these nifty additions make for a very polished user experience. You can even see here, there is no lag in the animations and in general we didn't face any lag or stutter in the UI. Now overall I am actually quite impressed with this device. Super fast charging, a very clear and sharp display, solid build quality, great ergonomics, it doesn't feel bulky and even with a 5.5 inch display, this device can be easily held in one hand. So kudos to the design team here. The one thing that this phone lacks are the cameras. Apart from that, it's a solid device at this price point. Flagship design, superb build quality and that too at a very aggressive price point. Well folks with that we come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this or any other device, do mention those in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more such videos and as always, have a great day.